at you guys with the chit chat get ready with me if you see that's my son in the back say carter say hi carter. Hey. Um, come to you guys today with the um, important issue. I pretty much what it is is that we have to stop um, placing so much value on what society or everybody else says and really just go with what feels right with us because nobody knows us better than ourselves. So we have to really go with what we feel is right and stop placing so much value on on what everybody else feels is right and what you should do and what you shouldn't do um and what friends say and what they don't say because pretty much nobody knows what is right at all except for like you have to go with your gut feeling i mean for example um when i got pregnant with my son carter um people was telling me oh you need to go get a job you need to because i had gotten fired so everybody was like you need to go find another job you need to go do you need to be doing something other than just going to school but no that wasn't what was right for me because or my family me and my mom decided that what was right for me was to focus on going to school and getting an education so then I could take care of me and my son instead of having to rely on assistance or rely on other people to have to take care of us for the rest of our life because I can't get a higher paying job where I'm struggling in school in my grades because um, I can't because I can't focus wholeheartedly and that and you know, some you have to know who you are and really take the time to really know who you are and stop focusing on what everybody else says or what it looks like. Because it's not going to look right all the time. Nothing always looks right. I mean, I'm 25 and I stay at home with my mother and me and my son share a room at the time. But you know what? It works for me. Thing like, I've, sometimes I talk to my friends about... Um, what was kind of like going on with me and like staying at home with my mom because you know sometimes that can be a little difficult staying at home with their parents because uh, let's be honest they still think of you as a kid and you're not a kid sometimes you're still an adult and they want you to do things their way and it may not always work out and you may have issues and I know like that's just part of life you know living with people and co coexisting however you know you talk to your friends about it and you tell them how you feel and what you're going through and they don't really understand and they're like well you need to just move out you need to just get an apartment no. and then you like explaining your priorities because in my instincts i'd rather send my son to a good private school that i then um worry about apartments and everything like that i'd rather not my mom said it's not sacrificing it's compromising some things for now until you can afford where you would want to live and send my son to school you know and people may not understand that and it doesn't look good we stay in the same room together i mean we stay in my mother's house and that could be you know kind of embarrassing at times but <laughs> you know it's life and that's what works for me right now. And I can't think about what he say, she say, they say, and how it looks to everybody else because Ooh. they feel like I should be getting an apartment and I should be living on my own and I should be uh, more independent, as they say. But it's like, what works for you may not work for me. And work, what works for them may not work for them because I work my butt off to get to where I am. I went to college and I at the point I am at right now and I know that where I'm at is not where I'm always going to be you see everybody can't see your bigger picture or your bigger vision so you can't look at them just like you know that saying where people be like um, you can't judge me unless you walk in my shoes. Well, you can't tell me what to do or how to feel or what to, or how to live my life if you haven't lived my life. And that's how you have to live your life because can't nobody tell you what's best for you, not even your parents per se. Once you turn, once you become a adult, I mean, you can listen to people's advice, hear what they have to say into consideration and, and use what they say as guidance uh for your life and stuff at the end of the day 
it's you that has to live that life. And it's you that has to go through the circumstances or whatever that is causing um, the circumstances or the... Um, or the problems or the anything that has to do with your life you're the one that has going to do that's going to have to deal with it at the end of the day and it doesn't matter what anybody else says because as long as you can sleep at night, it works for you you're the one who has to live that life not anybody else but you so at the end of the day it really doesn't matter what anybody says or feel because it's your life and I think we get so caught up on making other people sometimes it's our family sometimes it's our friends because we want to fit in and we want to seem like this person this specific person that we are and that's not true you have to just focus on you not what a boy gonna think not what a girl gonna think not what your mama gonna think not what your daddy gonna think and I mean it's easier hard easier said than done and i know it's been that way for me it's been easier said than done at some points because it's like well society says that i should go get a job and all my friends think i should go get a job or all my friends think i should go move into my own apartment because that's the right thing to do because i'm an adult and i need to have my own space and i need to be more responsible and you shouldn't have a kid and be living at home that's not the right thing to do but i'm not living at home and i doing nothing so why do you care i mean even if i wasn't even if i was home and not doing the dang old thing twiddling my thumbs watching tv all day reading books or not reading books take care of my son not take care of my son why does it matter to you? It shouldn't matter at the end of the day. Because what I've learned, if we all focus on ourselves, we have too much to focus on to even care about what anybody else is doing. I mean, like, sometimes you could take people's opinions and their advice, but at the end of the day, you're the one who got to live with it. You're the one who got to deal with it. So, I mean, yeah, I take your advice. Yeah, I listen. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I got to make my life work for me. And then that's another thing. If you listening to all these people about what they feel and think is right for you in your life, then you're going to look back and are you going to be happy? Because you didn't live your life for you. You lived your life for everybody else. And what everybody else feel and what everybody else think and what everybody else um, wants you to do and not want you to do. So are you going to be happy? Because in the, in the end, we should want to live our lives to make ourselves happy and stop trying to make everybody else happy. I think like in the society that we are in, we want to so we want to please everybody else and we want to look like an image and see and like because we see all these people on social media want to um. We want to live our life like the people that we see on social media. And we see them, you know, with expensive bags, expensive cars, going out every day, all this money and fluffing. But then at the end of the day, you don't know what they did to get that. You don't know if they're happy. You don't know. Everybody has something going on in their life that's not totally perfect. So why should you, um, why should you look at them and what they have? And live your life like they want you to live when you that's not your life and you don't know what it took for them to get that life or have that life or to be envious and careful with the envy that you have because it could mean that you're not happy with, with yourself and you want to always be happy with yourself I mean, you could say you like the way they did that and you see how they do do things and you take heed from the way they did things and um, you take it and you make it your own or you take it as inspiration. Don't take it as um, this is the way you got to be and this is the way you got to do it or how society says you should do it and how society says we should go about things because what's what one what works for one may not work for you 
and what works for you may not work for somebody else so live your life don't please anybody and that's what i have to i've been having to learn that too because you know sometimes i question myself no. i really question myself about some decisions that i made you know when i wasn't working and i was in school you it was so much of a sacrifice because i didn't have my own money i didn't have my own money i couldn't do the things that i want to do okay. you gotta do what works for you and stop doing what works for everybody else and I really struggled with that. Another thing, other thing, like the whole apartment thing. Because, of course, I want to be, you know, independent and on my own fully. And I know it's coming, but you can't, and you can't rush it. Because it happens at everybody's time. It's, it's not a race to be independent. It's going to come. I mean, I'm pretty much independent now. I just stay with my mom and live here. But I'm just saying, like, I want my own space. You know, want your own space, want your own room, want your my own bathroom. Shoot, that's what I really want. I want my own dang on bathroom. I hate sharing bathrooms with my brother and my son. Anyway, you know, it it's coming. It's gonna come when it's right for me, and it's gonna come when it can work for me. And everybody like, why would you pay? Take your time. Why would you pay that much for school? This is what people told me. Why would you pay that much for school for his school? And you could spend that money on so much other things. Well, because I'd rather invest in my kid and make sure he has a great education and he's learning and he's well-rounded and he has so many opportunities. So when he gets to college, he can get full-ride scholarships or he can do whatever I'm not thinking about right now and what I can use that money on because it's going to come. I'll do that. I'll do what I want to do. I can you know, compromise for now on what it is that I want to do so I can make sure that his future is better. But people don't see that. They see like, girl, you could use that money to do blah, 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 blah. I don't want to do blah, 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 blah. And at first, I, you know, it sounds good. Like, yeah, I really could use that money to be doing this and that. But when I think about it, it's like, no, why? It'll come. I'm not rushing to that. I got my whole life. And this is what works for me. Why would I want to do that? Honestly. When I think he goes to a great school, he knows a lot. He's only three. He's doing. He just started math problem, and I think, and that's what I want for him. I want him to be advanced. I'm not saying that public school can't make him advanced, but for your kids or for yourself or for whatever reason, because you feel like it fits you. Compromising to be that they go out. They only go out to eat once a week or they don't go out to eat at all because they want to save their money to do certain things. I think what it is is that society or our age, like younger age groups of people are so focused on keeping up with the Joneses per se or making it look good for social media or whatever or how popping it is or how lit it is but it ain't about life ain't about that you may be doing things on how lit or popping things are but what it all boils down to is you have to do what works for you and stop doing what works for everybody else and that's what society and like social media has boiled down boiled down to do things that really truly resonates within us and stop doing it because it looks good for the gram yeah we gotta do it because that's what makes us happy that's what makes us that's what feels right that's what feels right that's what we have to do it for because it feels right because that's what someone's supposed to get or that's what so-and-so want us to do or i want to be popping on the gram so i'm gonna be up here Drinking, you know, you don't like drinking. Only so said you should do because she's right about everything, girl. Bye. Don't nobody know. We all living and we all trying to figure out life. Everybody, nobody has the answer. You know, just do what you feel is best for you and stop doing what you think everybody else feels or think you should be doing. I hope you guys got something out of my chit chat. Get ready with me and that I've taught you something or you've learned something or you've taken something out of it because I'm um, putting this into uh, works in my life to just be me and do you. Pretty much do you. Hey, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe down below and wishing you peace, love, and happiness.